Hello everybody, welcome back. Uh, as you can see, we have uh, this website in front of you that is a part of the e-commerce website. This is the logo, the simple logo you can use in a few hours, uh, but we have simply added this simple logo and this is a banner and this is the menu bar in the search box, the categories and the brands are dynamically coming from the database. and this is the footer for this project and this is the content area where we will, we will be displaying actually the brands or here sorry the products so uh, this are uh, uh, now we need to actually put products over here I mean display products over here but before displaying the products we need to actually first insert those products into this uh, table of products that we already have created so first of all uh, we need to go to the CSS uh, styled CSS file and make sure that uh, we remove the height from here we have given to the content area and from the sidebar as well we don't need this is a fixed height now we need to make it auto because if there is content so that would automatically make a place a space for the content so we have removed them uh, that's okay and we will just go to the index.php uh, page to just simply add some text to this footer very simply I will add uh, uh, a copyright sign for which we can take the code from the internet copyrights HTML code you need to write this and you will find HTML copyright code somewhere here mm. copyright so go to w3 school and it is it is here the name we should copy and we'll come back over here and say just paste that first of all we need to add an h2 tag we'll style up it or here in the inline style we'll say text align is center and we'll say uh, very simply padding is padding top is 30 pixels and just will close it and put that copy right sign in this copyright by copyright 2014 by www. online com is my website and h2 close that's it control s to save anytime you make changes to your document or to your file you must control press control s to save that document before you check here refresh and here it is copyright sign 2000, uh, 2014 by online tutoring com and this area is empty because we don't have content over here you can see content is appearing here because this area we have content in this area but here we don't have any content so actually if you have content it will make its space itself so that is what we need uh, to create a very simple form basically the insertion form to insert products this is our job now just go to file menu and click new create a new file very simply first of all add the doc type for html5 document after that html then head this is the basic structure for html page inserting product head close and then go to body and body close and HTML 
clause very simple control is to save this uh, inside the add main area and name it insert underscore product dot php inside the add main area because we will be inserting the products from add main area later on when we will be crea will create the add main area as well so insert underscore product dot php this is the page saved simply and after that very simply just uh, create a form and action page should be insert underscore product itself method will be post ink type is a necessary attribute to add or here which is multi part backslash form dash data that's mean we are receiving multi part data I mean images or videos etc so form I have closed this is a simple HTML form tag and after that you need to create a table basically a table and its align uh, will be center and uh, this will basically have align center and width will be 1000 pixels that's it table close and inside the table we'll create some uh, TD, TRs and TDs the first TR will be for inserting a title to it for example inside the the TRs are basically the table rows which we always create using the TR tags inside the table and inside the TR we need to insert TD tags to make some uh, spaces I mean there are basically the columns if you have used MS Word or MS Excel you may really know it now here I will uh, add h2 take and will say uh, insert new post here and h2 I will close so this is something that we can check now this thing we can check our browser this go here and write uh, something like localhost e-commerce and after that admin underscore area and then backslash insert underscore product dot php because you need to reach that page the specific exact page you can see over here this is saying insert new for post and there is nothing except this if we add uh, a border to this table you will see a border as well I mean a border of two pixels or two points go and replace your page and you will see a border over here but no not at the moment anyways we can simply make the beige color of uh, the body uh, something like uh, sky blue we did previously <coughs> So I just added a color, fresh. You can see the color now. T R T R T D T D. Okay. The table uh, tag is closed here. Now, just create some more T R. This T R will be holding something like. Uh, we'll say a uh, product title inside one TD and another TD we will insert input type is equal to text X name will be product underscore title single tag is this so I will close the TD now control is to save and come or here to see what is here this is okay a BG color I will add to the table so you can check out BG color for this will be orange Control is to save or table basically so you can see what is the table this is the table now we'll simply say to this TR align center I have it 
align center to this TR so this will be align center and uh, call span is another call span is another attribute that we can add I will edit 8 points so it will actually merge uh, this TR come here and refresh the page I was talking about this this is now ok so table is not actually centered align table align center with thousand oh sorry border this is border not that spelling was wrong I have corrected it now you will see a border over here this is the border now so very simply uh, we can just copy and paste this whole TR again and again here once twice three four times fifth times six times seven times it's enough control s to save come back over here and refresh you see this all this is basically what we are going at the end once again I will paste it and remove this 1TD and here I will say text sorry type submit put type submit and insert underscore post will be the name of this and value will be this is basically the button in the text inside the value we can give a text for example uh, insert now control s to save come here and refresh it insert now you can just simply add text uh, sorry align center to this tr the last one align center control s to save and the uh, call span will be 8 so it will merge all the TDs inside this TR in uh, the above ones are coming refresh and it is now in center actually basically the table width is very 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 large so we need to make it 750 Ctrl S to save now refresh so it is now looking better and we can simply add uh, to this TD where the title or the text is there we can add a line right to this so that will look uh, better beautiful we can copy and paste it in the all TDs where the title is only uh, visible there I mean not the input one Just copy paste to all TDs the first TD inside the each TR you will see the difference now oh yes it's complete control is to save press and you can see this all actually there is a mistake I think what is the mistake let me check this should come here to this side not to center oh sorry this is center it's not center this is right I said right but I have given center that is my mistake and you have already caught my mistake I know that but this is programming so errors come occur and also you make mistakes that is a common thing once again I have copied and pasted all over the way I will control S to save and refresh now you can see all this once again one more mistake I have done I need to make them a little bit bolder by using B tag and also I will 
change these titles I mean the first one is the product title so the second one will be product oh -ho. category this is basically the insertion form I will explain this to you all what we have done so far and this on this page product brand and also let me use B take to make take uh, to make it a little bit bolder this also and change this to product I uh, mean product uh, product price okay no products image and B tech B tech close and this will be product uh, description price and this one will be first of all B and then product description yeah description and this last one will be product keywords so we can insert keywords as well B clause control S to save now refresh you can simply see that this whole form this saying insert new post here then post title post category post brand post image post price product description post keywords and everything in here these are basically seven uh, seven TDs inside the TRs or you can see seven text boxes so you can make this one the call span seven and also the above one in the title or here so it will be better now refresh it anyways when you click insert now so the user can insert the post or insert the product into this table products table but basically uh, in my coming lecture I need to make you understand and to actually explain what we have done this all and after that we will also make some changes to these names because these are still product title all are the same but in next video I need to tell you that how we can insert the data coming in this form how we can insert that data into the database I mean the table products that's very simple you don't worry about that but see you in next lecture